Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a simple tutorial on how to do an idle animation from a photo using OpenTunes, like what's on the screen right now. Uh, I'm actually going to be animating that little bunny in the middle. Uh, it's super easy and it can be really fun, especially if you're doing it to your own characters. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make a new scene. So I'm just going to name my scene Bunny and create it. Your layout might look something more like this the very first time you open something in OpenTunes. So if you hate this kind of layout, you can always go to right click and then make a new room and then just go to windows and then set all the windows where you want them and how you want them to look. So I recommend um, using the timeline, the toolbar, the style editor, the toolbar options and the palette windows since we're going to be using like pretty much all of those anyways. But otherwise, um, you can just drag and drop wherever you have your assets saved. So, I have two different images right here. Um, to have the character blink. You obviously don't have to have uh, your character blink, but I'm just doing that for the sake of tutorial to show you how to parent assets. So, actually, let me just name these real quick. That way it's just a bit simpler. Um, and if you're wondering how I extended the exposure like this, I just have a keyboard shortcut, fill in empty cells that I set to F1. I just think it's kind of a faster way to extend the exposure of your frames. So I'm just gonna turn these off, uh, the, the blink layer just right now, just so it looks a bit better. So uh, select the plastic tool and then make sure you're on the uh, like body layer, basically what you're going to be actually animating. And then just hit create mesh. I just leave these as the default settings, hit apply. And then you've now made a mesh layer, which I'm just going to extend all the way out here. So now we can actually start building the skeleton. So this mode will probably be in build skeleton by default. So now we just, you know, build the skeleton. This is basically like, um, if you've ever used After Effects, this is kind of like the puppet pin tool. Obviously you can get like as detailed as you want and your skeleton will probably be a bit, will probably be, be a bit different um, depending how you're gonna be animating it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just having it set like this, that way I can kind of like move the ears. And then you'd think, oh, I can go to mode and just start animating, but the eyes aren't parented to the body yet. So what you want to do is go to Windows, and then Schematic, and see the body is already parented to the mesh, but these aren't. So I'm going to parent the eyes to the mesh, and then the blinking eyes to the mesh. Just get rid of that. And then now you will see if I go back to the mesh, and I am at Animate, I start moving stuff around. Oh, there we go. The eyes are now moving with the body. But um, you may ask, like, oh, I want to make these this this little bunny squish and squash, uh, but he's not squish and squashing. If you turn this thing off, keep distance, turn that off, then you can start to squish and squash and get some, you know, a little more livelier animation. Um, yeah, so now we can actually like start animating. So if I go here and just move one of these points just like a little bit, and then that will automatically make a keyframe down here. That little white diamond thing is a keyframe. So I'm just gonna go to like a second in, and then move this a bit more, and then make, uh, it'll make a new keyframe, and then like, ooh, look at that. Our bunny's already moving. Um, so I'm just gonna move the ears maybe a bit more too. Move them to like the right. And then if we preview that, dang, look at that, our bunnies, they're moving, they're vibing. Um, so to make it loop, what I do is just select this keyframe right here, so that's blue. Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. And then I'm going to paste it like outside of here. And then if we preview that, oh, see these triangles are kind of like the... They kind of set the uh, easing. I'm just going to try and make them a bit more even. Open tunes is kind of glitchy sometimes with those triangles, so just, you know, try it out a couple times. Uh, but yeah, our bunny's just kind of vibing. He's looking pretty good. 
Um, now, if we want to make him blink, so I'm going to turn this blink layer back on. I'm actually just going to like delete the blink uh, exposure. Um, so if I want the blink just to be like two frames long, maybe we can set it to like here. Now all I'd have to do to like, you know, obviously delete these open eyes is just to go in that layer where the opened eyes are and then just delete it. That way you can only see the blinking uh, frame. So if I go like that, you know, oh look, our little bunnies, they're, they're blinking. But now one thing you'll notice is that because the, um, the eyes are, are parented to the mesh, it's kind of like cutting off this eyelash. If you go back to your mesh layer, and you're still on, you know, the uh, plastic tool, go to Edit Mesh, and I'm just going to go over here just so we can kind of see. So see this eyelash is outside the mesh. If we just like move some points so that the eyelash is now inside the mesh, like that, right? So I'll go back to animate so we can kind of see what it looks like. Now that eyelash isn't getting cut off. So that's just like something to bear in mind if you have over overlapping assets like that. Uh, another thing we could do, we could add some overlap to the ears. So if I go, you know, like maybe midway through. So the bunny's turning to the right, right here. So I could add some little drag in the ears so that the ears are kind of staying to the left and then they're moving to the left here so I could add some overlap and make the ears go to the right over here and the timing will probably be weird because you always have to mess with it in open tunes but yeah it, looks, it kind of looks okay there's a bit of bounce now to the ears um so yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I, I wanted to explain. So to render your thing out, just go to Render, and then Output Settings, and then over here you can save as, you know, either a GIF, a GIF, or an MP4, and then, you know, obviously save it wherever you want. So we can just, like, save it as a GIF. And yeah, then you've, like, exported your thing. One more thing, though, actually, um, OpenTunes doesn't export with transparency. So, just make a new layer somewhere. Oops. Let me do this real quick. Um, and I would recommend just like making like a green screen for your background. That way, in whatever other third program you're using, like if it's a video editing program or OBS or something, you can, you can just green screen the background out really easily. And then you can just go to, you know, Apple Settings and render it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the whole tutorial. I hope that was kind of helpful and not too confusing or anything, because I tried to make it, you know, beginner friendly. But uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in a comment and I'll try to answer it. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.